Today is the continuation of our week two with our Lazada Seller Beginner's Guide series and our topic focuses mainly on content. Bakit po content? Because content marketing is an opportunity for you to grow sales in your online stores. Sa two years kong gumagawa ng videos sa channel na ito, one thing I noticed is that a lot of you wants shortcuts or would want to go for the fastest route to gain conversions or sales without understanding the basic of content marketing. Naintindihan ko po kayo, no? But as I've said in my previous video where we all learned how to write product names effectively, while we all want to make a sale right off the bat, we have to make sure first that we're able to create a connection sa ating mga customers. We want our customers to feel engaged sa ating stores and a strong content starting from creating your product name and descriptions can build this connection. So in today's video, we're going to learn how to write our product descriptions effectively. If you want to know more, don't forget to thumbs up this video and keep on watching. everyone, your Mama Becha here and welcome back to my channel. If you want to know how you can be successful in your online selling, I give tips, best practices, tutorials, and other interesting stuff in my channel. So please consider subscribing and click the bell notification to see my newly posted videos. I cannot stress enough the importance of creating a strong content in our store. Just to share, in one of the class that I attended a few years ago, on average, ha, ang customers daw natin will visit our store page or kung may website ka man, up to five times muna before they actually make a purchase. Interesting, right? So, as a seller, how do we help our customers persuade to click that add to cart and buy button? Of course, is to write our product names and descriptions effectively. So before we head on to our main tutorial, let me show you examples first of how store owners in the Lazada platform does their product descriptions. So let me go share my screen and I will show you an example of a product description and saang banda ng Lazada Seller Center natin ginagawa ito. Okay? So give me a moment here. I'm about to share to you my screen. Okay, so as you can see on our screen, we are at the Lazada website and I decided to do an example with a Samsung brand. So if you notice, this is a Samsung Lasmol flagship store. And I have chosen one product, which is the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 3, smartphone with free Galaxy Buds Pro and a travel adapter. And I am showing you the PC interface. So ibig sabihin, Kapag ikaw ay pumunta sa website ng Samsung and gumamit ka ng tablet, ng laptop, or desktop, then this is the same interface that you are going to see. So if we are going to scroll down nung product details, okay, so scroll down lang po natin yan. In here, you are going to see the product description. So this is what the product description looks like sa item na ito. Okay? So, what Samsung did is they do a bulleted format dito sa product description nila sa item na Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 3. Now, 
saang parte or saang banda ng Lazada Seller Center natin to gagawin kapag nag-upload na tayo ng ating product. Okay, so let's go to Lazada Seller Center. We are using the Peachy Queen as our example for today. And of course, you are going to see yung parte na kung saan i-upload natin yung product description dito sa products mismo. So you click on products and then add to products. So this is actually a way for you to create your your product listing. So let's just say, ilagay na lang natin dito as test ang product name. Okay, ilagay natin as smartphone. Okay, as an our example, para lang lumabas yung page na kung saan ilalagay natin yung ating description. So kapag in-scroll down mo yan, right below the pricing or variance, meron tayong tinatawag dito na description. So meron tayong long description with lorry kit. So you can either use the lorry kit tool or yung rich text. And we also have another way here is to put the short description. Okay? So there will be a different tutorial with regards to doing a manual product listing. Ia-apply po natin lahat ng natutunan natin from week 1 dito sa pag-upload ng products manually. But for our tutorial today, just so everyone know kung paano natin i-upload itong product description na ito is dito po yan na page. Okay, so you can write a short description and you can also use the long description. Okay, there. So I hope na at least by now, alam nyo na no, na yun pala ang nangyayari kapag naglagay tayo ng short description or long description at naka-live na yan sa ating store. Diyan pala nakikita ng customers natin dito sa ating product yung product description. Okay? So, let me stop sharing my screen. Let's go back to our main page. Creating the right format will increase the probability na yung products mo ay madidiscover ng customers online. The more people discover your products, of course, the higher possibility of resulting in sales. One thing though that I want you to keep in mind is that yung product category will also impact how you write your product name or your product description. Okay? Kasi it may vary. For instance, katulad ng example natin, yung Samsung, it's a smartphone. So kapag nag-post ka ng smartphone, compared sa ibang item, a smartphone product listing indicating yung product description will have a more detailed information compared to a product na halimbawa ay nag, nagbebenta ka ng Pampa Beauty or facial wash. So with that in mind, we have the following elements and I'm happy to share it to you kung paano nga ba natin isusulat yung product descriptions effectively. Okay, so we have to follow the following elements and formats to consider when writing your product description. Okay, number one, formatting. Ano nga ba yung formatting? The formatting of your product description will influence the perception of your shoppers or visitors towards your product. So may tatlong klase po ng formatting from the word format. Paano nga ba natin pinoformat yung ating product description? Okay, so may tatlong klase yan. May paragraph, may bulleted type, and may mix. I guess these three types of formatting is self-explanatory, no? And kung titingnan natin, kung babalikan natin yung example natin with Samsung kanina, bulleted type yung ginawa nila sa kanilang product description. Okay? Pwede din naman paragraph and pwede din siya mix. Pag sinabi natin mix, ito yung combination ng paragraph tsaka bulleted type. Okay? So baka tanungin nyo, sa tatlong mga betsay, ano po ang effective? Again, ang rule po ng product description formatting may vary depending on the product category. Pero in a summary, 
according to what I have learned, ang paragraph daw po or text format is recommended for specs-driven na products or specs-driven na item. Katulad yung mga techie products, right? Ano ba yung mga techie products? Smartphones, computers. Yung example natin na Samsung phone. Ayan. So, ang perfect daw po na format ng, description, ng product description niyan is paragraph or text format. Pero, if you wanna go for bulleted type, product description, mas advantage din po daw yan. Kasi of all the type na format, no, itong tatlo, paragraph, bulleted type, or mix, ang bulleted type product description daw po gain more attention. And according to study, people have a longer amount of time reading them compared sa paragraph type. Diba? Kasi pansin nyo, kung kayo, ilagay natin yung sarili natin, no? If, for example, we are the customers, kayo ba gusto nyo magbasa ng mahabang paragraph? Or kahit maiksi man lang yan na paragraph, di ba nakakatamad siya basahin? Okay? So, yung bullet type, bulleted type na formatting is the most effective when it comes to uh, product description formatting. Okay? Now, let's go to features and benefits. So, isa yan sa element that we need to follow in writing your product description. Ano nga ba ang features and benefits? Okay? So, ang average customer online natin, no? Mga customer online natin, yung attention span nila is very limited. Okay, so that is why in order to pitch your product effectively, you should entice your customers with a description that will actually assist them to find the right product. And the best way to do that is to always write the features and benefits of the products that you sell. Okay, so minsan, we still don't know ano nga ba yung difference ng dalawa. Ano ba ang features? Ano ang benefits? Okay, so a product feature po is something that your product have or is made of. Ito yung functionality that enables the buyers to do something. Okay? Habang ang product benefit naman is yung result that a buyer will get from using the product. Okay, malinaw po ba? Ano ang kaibahan ng features? Ano ang kaibahan ng benefits? So a perfect example, if a flash ko lang dito sa screen, since Samsung phone naman yung feature natin as our example, so halimbawa si Samsung, no, isa sa spec ng Samsung phone is may 64GB of storage siya. So yung 64GB of storage, yun ang product feature. Okay? So, yun ang product feature. Ano naman ang benefit niya? So, for the 64GB of storage, you can store 40,000 pictures on your phone. So, storing a 40,000 pictures or photos on your phone if you buy a 64GB of storage, yun po ang benefit niya. Okay? Malinaw? Malinaw ha. Alright, so now you know ano ang kaibahan ng features and kaibahan niya sa benefits. Alright, so dagdag ko na lang din. Okay, idagdag ko na lang din. So baka kasi hindi pa rin natin maintindihan para mas lalo nyong maintindihan kung ano yung features and benefits and para mas mabilis sa inyo no, to write your product features and benefits, itanong nyo to sa sarili nyo to itong mga bagay na to. Okay? So, number one, ano or what are your product's basic attributes? So, ano yung mga basic attributes natin? Uh, yung materials niya, yung dimensions niya, gaano siya kalaki, functions niya. Okay? And then, why should they use the product? Would it cure a problem? Would it give them a solution? Another thing, how is your product better than your competitors? 
Okay, would it cure a problem faster or would it give solution faster compared to your competitors? And then another thing is where could they use your product? Sa home ba? Sa office ba? Is it indoor, pang outdoor? No? Or when could they use your product? During birthday parties ba? During Christmas? Summer? And then how does your product work? Especially dun sa mga ka-sellers natin na nagbebenta ng mga technical items. No? Ayan. Okay? So that is uh, the end of our discussion sa features and benefits. Okay? And last one, last element that we need to do to consider in writing your product description, of course, is yung keywords. Okay? Huwag nating kaligtaan tong keywords. Again, ang keywords, ano nga bang keywords na discuss natin to sa ating previous video? Keywords are the words and phrases people type into search engine or search button when searching for information. So, important po ang keywords dahil part po yan ng optimization ng inyong store or ng SEO. Pinaka-basic yan, ba? Diba? So, in our last video, binanggit ko no na yung pag-write ng ating product name, parte na pala yan ng keyword, parte na pala yan ng SEO. Now, if we're going to talk about how the Lazada arg algorithm works, ibig sabihin, pag sinabi natin algorithm, paano niya napupush yung store mo sa website or sa Lazada website, then indicating your product keywords can also bring the right traffic to your store and make sales sa iyong store. Okay? So, keywords aside from your product name, you also need to put your keywords sa product description. Okay, so from what we learned today, let me show you how I did my product descriptions by showing you a live posting na makikita nyo na sa Lazada website. Okay, so let me show you another screen. But just give me a moment as I'm about to share to you the product descriptions that I did sa Peachy Queen, yung ating uh, pin pinaka-store model, no? yung nilaunch natin three months ago. Okay, so let's go to the screen again. All right, so this is what the Peachy Queen store looks like. Ito yung pinaka-store homepage natin kapag PC or laptop po yung ginamit. This is a PC interface. Since in our tutorial, you all know naman ang ginagamit ko po ay desktop. Okay? So, ayan siya. And then, let me just select at least two items for you because you may be wondering ano yung ginawa kong formatting sa aking product description. Sa totoo lang, because I'm in the process of um, checking no, which is the most effective one, para ma-share ko din yan sa inyo, I have created two types of product description. Okay, so katulad nito, itong swimwear na to, na rush guard na to, no? So if you're going to scroll it down, ayan. So what did you notice? Okay, what did you notice dito sa ating product description? Okay? Did you notice something? Okay, so if you have noticed, based on sa discussion natin kanina, ang ginawa kong product description sa ating formatting is a mixed formatting. ba? Ano yung mixed? Ito, it's a combination of ano, bulleted and paragraph. Okay? If you can see here on our first part ng ating product description, gumawa po ako ng paragraph. Okay? Hindi siya ganong kahaba because again, sinabi ko na sa inyo yan, yung attention span ng ating customers ay medyo hindi po siya ganon ka katagal. So you have to grab their attention right there and then kapag nagbabrowse sila ng iyong store. Okay? So I put a paragraph here and then I followed the bullet points or the bulleted type of formatting. Okay, now, let's talk about naman the features and benefits. Okay, if you notice here, andito po yung feature niya. 
Okay? Nilagay ko dyan na quick drying yung ating uh, product and then chlorine resistant fabric. Right? Ito, flat seams din siya. And ano yung benefits niya? Benefits niya? Flat seam because it reduces rubbing. Okay? And then, it sabi dito, it blocks 98% of the sun's harmful UVA and UVB rays for maximum sun protection. Okay? Now, let's go to keywords. Keywords, ayan, so niligay ko dito yung keyword natin na girls. Rush guard, long sleeve, as part of our keyword. Okay, another example, one item from our store, Peachy Queen. Ayan, dito naman tayo, dumako tayo sa one piece. This is also another example in which sinabi ko nga kanina, no, the most effective way in doing uh, product description formatting is yung bulleted type of formatting. So with this product, ginawa ko lang siyang bulleted and then in-apply din natin yung features and benefits and at the same time, yung kanyang uh, keywords. Alright, so let me stop my sharing again. And let's go back to the main page. Okay, so ang product descriptions po should be able to relay sufficient information online. If you lack or if you have missing information, that could actually prevent your customers from successfully buying the product. So whenever possible, your product name, yung product title mo, yung description mo, must anticipate lahat ng mga questions and doubts na meron si customer. As a general rule, every customer, kahit ikaw po no, kapag pumunta ka sa isang store sa Lazada no we want to know how the product will meet our wants and needs okay so start thinking about what the customer desires and requires to achieve kapag binibisita nila ang iyong Lazada store okay so start building your product descriptions, it might not be the perfect right away. Believe me, you will improve over time. You can use a Microsoft Word in your laptop, in your PC, kung saan ka komportable. Kung masulat po kayo katulad ko, then you can write it down sa iyong mga notebook. Okay? So, that's the end of our tutorial today. If you find any value in what this vlog does, please don't forget to thumbs up this video. This is your Yo Mama Betchay once again. I will see you in my next tutorial. Bye!